Now, more than ever, emergency shelters are a last resort. If your home is unsafe, consider sheltering with family or friends, at a hotel, or evacuating out of the path of the storm. But if an emergency shelter is the best bet for you... Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm going to be showing you what a shelter will look like during the 2020 hurricane season. Come on in. As usual, each individual in a shelter is given a seven foot by three foot space. Same as years past, individuals should bring with them bedding, such as cots, blankets, and pillows, personal medication, special dietary needs or food, comfort or entertainment items such as games, identification, personal hygiene items, and extra clothing. Individuals and their belongings are limited to their space only. We've put together a family of three, an individual, and a couple. But the difference this year is that each family will be separated by six feet of distance. Capacity will be limited with the six foot of separation requirements. And classrooms could be utilized for the first time for spacing with the door always left open to the room. And in addition to social distancing, we'll also be implementing enhanced cleaning procedures for dormitory area, feeding area, and registration, as well as limiting common items and enhanced cleaning for common services. Congregations of people will be limited, especially in terms of feeding. In order to limit the number of people in the feeding area, we'll be dividing individuals into feeding groups as designated by a wristband. Every step thought out, including from the very beginning. We're doing everything we can to keep the residents in the refuge of last resort safe. And that includes when they get to the shelter. We're doing temperature checks and medical screenings to make sure everyone is healthy. Those who present with symptoms or a fever will be sent to a separate location, an isolation shelter, to avoid contamination. The goal is to keep everyone as safe as possible, both from a tropical event and COVID-19. I hope this shows what a refuge of last resort will look like during the 2020 hurricane season. Stay safe, Seminole County.